I mean, I'm a romantic, first of all. So one of the core, and I don't mean like, oh, buy roses and violins for Valentine's Day romantic. I mean old school romantic, like what's beneath the skin of reality? What's underneath the, the, the observable world? And for me, natural world is so alive and vital. And uh, man-made world doesn't feel as, as vital. Mm -hmm. There's some of that but it, it feels more willful. Welcome to Chicago Arts. In this episode, we talk with Willie Kohler, whose paintings expose the life and energy within nature. The source of a lot of the pieces is based upon walks that I've taken in nature, uh, usually going to places other than Chicago, uh, New Mexico, um, recently has been a, a major um, source of, of uh, visual stimulation. I've made a number of trips down there over the last few years. And uh, so I'll go out with a sketchbook and some watercolors and I'll take a walk and then I'll do drawings and I'll do watercolors and I bring those back to the studio. Mama. I don't have a drawing and then I'm making a painting based of that drawing. Like, that's the drawing is just a, a springboard for something else. Because what that might happen as I'm working, I'll have that drawing, and then I'll bring in and introduce another drawing. And then I might bring in, like, you know, I might be really interested in a piece by Poussin, and some element of that's going to come in. So the part of the journey of the painting is the combining of these different things and how that becomes the next, a, a different thing, the painting. <laughs> My desire for the viewer is that they have their own experience. Like I want to keep the paintings open enough that I'm not trying to cram something down somebody's throat. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm sitting in front of a painting. It's a landscape. So somebody, you know, somebody comes and goes. That's a cityscape. It's not. But um, within that, I want the viewer to find their own way, have their own journey. You know, so you know, the paintings start from a walk, and then when I start painting. It's as if the walk is continuing. The work is kind of messy. You know, yeah, there's an organization and there's a structure, but I like to have, you know, I've got quite a few, I've got quite a bit of skill. And so actually one of the things I like to do is um, kind of de-emphasize that by, by um, being apparently offhand. You know, allowing things to sit that, well, what's that? Why did he leave that? You know, why is that just a brush stroke sitting on top? You know, why isn't that modeled? You know, like, I like the rawness uh, and, the, and um, you know, I think that that gives a lot more space for another person to have experience. I was young, like, I'm not talking about my early 20s, like a lot of the paintings I did were realist paintings. I did a lot of landscapes, I did a lot of portraits, you know, I had an expressionist edge and I would do these kind of fantastical things and I mean I had a, a pretty wide range of willing to experiment, uh, probably normal for a young artist, um, but I feel like that grounding I had in observation of nature, both drawing and painting, uh, has served me and has kind of influenced the way I still think. Like I still look at my paintings and I think observation of nature. Someone else looks at it and they think abstraction. I mean so much of, of the main influence of today's painting culture is pop based. And I'm just I'm not you know, it's like I can't do that. It's not really in my in my being so much. Uh, I mean, sometimes I wish it was, it'd be easier. Visit the Linda Warren Gallery to see Willie's current show entitled Walking, up now through February 26th. For additional information and to see more paintings, visit williekohler.com. All pertinent links can be found in the info section of this video. Thank you for watching Chicago Arts. Do you know someone that we should interview? Suggest and vote for those people or groups that you want to see interviewed on Chicago Arts. We'd like to hear what you think, so let us know by commenting on this video. Thank you again from Chicago Arts.